In wake of the biggest single drug settlement in U.S. history, two legal icons are teaming up for trial against Johnson & Johnson for serious injuries suffered by young men while taking J&J's drug Risperdal. We are the ones that started the tsunami, if you want to call it that, and we're the ones that have been working on it for 10 years. There is a terrific partnership in my view here. We have the Scheller firm, uh, which is the pioneer in this litigation. Steve Scheller is a pioneer in American law, including product liability cases as well as whistleblower cases. I really think he's one of the best trial lawyers in not in just this region, but in the United States. Next month, Philadelphia lawyers Stephen Scheller and Tom Klein take on J&J &J in their next series of trials on behalf of boys and young men who claim that Risperdal, a drug they were prescribed, caused them to grow large, female-sized breasts, a condition called gynecomastia, that in some cases led to surgical removal known as mastectomies. A drug company taking advantage of children and adolescents who already may have some problems and giving them a, a pill that makes things so much worse for them. It's just very disturbing to, to both of us. Earlier this year, as the result of a Scheller PC whistleblower case, J&J &J agreed to settle with the U.S. Department of Justice over charges of illegally marketing Risperdal for children. The $2.2 billion recovery is the largest single drug settlement under the False Claims Act. The whistleblower settlement, which was obtained by Steve Scheller and his firm due to his dogged persistence of the facts, the true facts, speak to the enormity of the poor and bad conduct uh, by a pharmaceutical company. And while the whistleblower settlement was about off-label marketing fraud, these upcoming trials with J&J &J are about something else. Now we enter into a new phase, which allows individuals who are victimized and injured by uh, this horrible drug with an injury that was not warned about adequately to come forward to seek compensation and have redress in the courts. This case is not just about recovering money. It's about putting an end to this kind of misconduct by a drug company.